So cylinders, cylinders, um, they have a circular base and they have some sides that come up like this and then they have a uh, circular top like that. So it basically are two circles um, surrounded by a parallel line and I'll do that dotted like that so you can kind of see it, kind of like a pop can, um, something like that or a can of soup. I don't know what you put in your cans, but those are cylinders. Um, let's talk about finding the volume of a cylinder. And for volume, um, I have two pieces. I have this base, so I'd have to have some radius down here. So I'll call that five. And then some height, and let's say it was seven tall. And let's say these are in feet. So if you remember back from prisms, what we talked about was the area of the base times the height. So the base is a circle with a radius of five. So the area then would be, remember area is, uh, pi r squared. So our area of the base is 25 pi and our height is 7. So then I can grab my calculator, multiply uh, those things together. I'm just going to go 25 times pi times 7 and I get about 549.78 and this would be cubic feet. Remember that's how many cubes fit in there. So again, I'm just going to find the area of the base. So the area of the base is pi r squared, and the height is h, and I'll multiply that by the height. So there's my area of a cylinder right there, where I have a radius of r and a height of h. So I have this stack of 15 quarters, and notice it basically makes a cylinder, right? I have, I have this base and a certain height. So if I wanted to find the volume of this, I could find the area of this base, uh, right, uh, just area of a circle, um, pi r squared, and then I can multiply it by its height, and that would give me the volume of this. Now, I know that you get that, and what I wanted to do is, is just make a point that here's another uh, cylinder also made of the same number of, of coins, 15 quarters, and what I want you to notice is th these have the same volume. They're made up from the same number of quarters. But if I were to take this cylinder and slant it, this go boop, 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 and I hope it doesn't fall over, and just give it a little slant like that, notice they still have the same volume, and it's just made up of these little circles, the same thing. So I could actually get the volume on this slant one the exact same way. In other words, what I could do is I could go find the area of the base, that circle, pi r squared, and then multiply by the height. Now the height is not the slant distance. It's not that distance right there. It's straight up and down. These two have the same height. So notice my height is from the top of it straight down to the ground. So this idea of um, the area of the base times the height holds up even as the thing is slanted like this. So I have this uh, cylinder here uh, that I <laughs> obviously made out of some spare material. Uh, circular bottoms and then I have the height so I have the radius and the heights and I want to think about getting at the surface area of this of this cylinder. So for for this cylinder then I'm gonna do some cutting so we can we can visualize it. So first off, I would cut all along this outside of the circle. So that circle's gonna pop out like that. Um, I'm gonna cut straight along the edge. And then on this side, I would cut all around the circle as well. And I just have a little piece of tape that I would crawl out. Um, so you can see that the circles fold out. And then this part right here, this is really just a rectangle. So I'm going to fold this up. So you can see how a cylinder folds out to be something like this. I'm going to put my scissors on it so it lays out flat. And if you'll notice, this distance right here is just the height. I can find the area of that circle. I can find the area of that circle. And now for this rectangle right here, if I want to find its area, 
I know this side length is the height. How about this side length right here? Notice what it is, is it's the circumference of the circle, right? It's the distance around the circle because that was wrapped around the circle. So this would then be, think about the circumference of a circle, two pi times the radius. That's gonna be that length. So I can get the area of the rectangle, two pi times the radius times the height, and add that to the area of two of the circles. So that picture uh, that we just looked at where this was H, remember this is the, the rolled out part of the cylinder, and this distance is two pi R. So the area in here is two pi times the radius times the height, and then I had a circle and a circle. So I had two circles, both the same radius. So their uh, area is pi r squared. So it, and I have two of them. So I could go two pi times the radius times the height. That gives me the area of the, uh, this part of the cylinder. And then the two circles, two of the circles, pi r squared. And that will be my formula for the surface area of a cylinder.